I find it morally, ethically, and professionally wrong, is what Anime Next creator Tom Ruger says about the 2020 revival. That does not sound good. And we're about to find out some sad stuff about this new show. <sighs> Here's what you need to know. Yakko, Wacko, and Dot returned to the world of TV more than 20 years after the original show ended. The Animaniacs of the 90s was critically acclaimed for more than a few reasons. The show was fun, and it brought great memories to all, but then fast forward to the era of reboots and revivals. Audiences are nostalgic for the shows that came before, which explains why Yakko, Wacko, and Dot came back for the modern generation. Let me be clear, I do think the Animaniacs revival is good. At least when comparing it to a bunch of other reboots, this can stand on its own two feet as something Worth watching. That being said, we shouldn't pretend that problems don't exist. There's something about Anime Next 2020 that's missing. No, no, wait, more like someone missing. Original series creator Tom Ruger, who you can thank for introducing these characters to the world, is not actually a part of the revival. You might argue that he should have just joined the show, right? Well, doesn't work like that. He, along with many original writers, weren't allowed to join. More specifically, they didn't even know what was happening until the wheels of the show were we're already in motion. Now in order to really understand this perspective, we have to dig into some interviews online. A lot was revealed in his talk with Rolling Stone, and let me just tell you right now, it ain't pretty. They had decided to make the show, and by the time I even heard about it, they had a showrunner and staff. Ruger says, when his agent reached out to the new creative team, suggesting they involve Ruger in the process, they declined, Ruger says. He said, well at least bring him in to meet them. So I went in there with my agent and said, I'd love to be involved in some meaningful way, and they said, Okay, but we've got it under control. Right from the beginning, Tom wasn't even asked to join the show. Keep in mind this man knows the characters better than anyone else, but no, Warner Brothers decided to go on ahead without him. Because of that, he has some mixed feelings about the end result of this new show. He talked about what made the original so special, and why that doesn't compare to the revival. Ruger noted that the original Animaniacs was just contemporary enough to prove more appealing to kids than the Looney Tunes shorts that shared their sensibility, but not to modern life weren't prevalent. Outside of the line in the theme song about Bill Clinton playing the sax, plus Goodfellas only being a few years old at the time the Goodfeathers were introduced. And even those shorts were often an excuse to get retro, like a West Side Story parody about doing bird gangs. The original writing staff didn't worry much about whether their target audience would get old references, and just did whatever made their colleagues laugh. The new Animaniacs tries too hard to rely on current events, at least when compared to the original series. Don't get me wrong, this has always been a thing, but not to the extent of the Hulu revival. By placing too many eggs in the single single basket of topical humor, the show does lose some of its timelessness. In the future, it's gonna be harder to have fun watching if you really just don't understand the references. Although Tom wasn't allowed to join the revival, there were still some changes he had planned in the hypothetical scenario that he was in charge. For example, Hello Nurse would be the studio boss. You might have noticed a few references to her character, but she's just completely gone in the new episodes, and Tom would want her to come back. Another change would be to show Skippy Squirrels an adult living at home. He would still be with Aunt Slappy, who who's now desperate for him to move out. Now one of the big changes actually centers around Yakko, Wacko, and Dot themselves. Over the 22 year absence, he would have had them controlling the internet inside the water tower. Tom also thinks that the new show should not be called Animaniacs. That was more of an umbrella title for all the characters, but it's a little too empty with just the Warners and Pinky and the Brain. This sci-fi interview gives us some more details. I am disappointed that the original creators were not involved. There were a lot of great artists and writers who made that original show, and we all would have loved to have been invited back, but Warners and Amblin owned the property, and they decided to go with a new group. That's the story. Many of the cast members, the same voice actors who have been with the show since the 90s, definitely feel like Tom and the original crew members brought a lot of love to the series, and it wouldn't be what it is today without them. The sad truth is that it's not up to these guys to get the original creator on board, that's all the decision of executives. But just when you think this can't get any worse, they did offer Ruger a chance, it just, uh... Wasn't what you'd imagine it to be. This New York Times article spills the details. Ruger said that, though he had hoped to play a significant role in the reboot, he was not involved in discussions to restart the show or asked to produce a new series. Though he was later invited to submit a script for a new Animaniacs segment, Ruger said that he felt that basically it would be like an audition, and I just didn't feel comfortable auditioning for a show that I created. I don't know the reasons they did it that way, and I don't know how they justify it, Ruger said. Ethically, it seems really wrong. Now, like I said before, the Animaniacs 
Maniac Survival isn't a bad show by any means. The new crew is doing what they can with the resources they have, and based on the reactions, it seems like people enjoy it. It's beyond disappointing that Warner Bros. couldn't get Tom Ruger on board to make this the best possible revival it can be, but that's just how the industry goes sometimes. For whatever reason, they sought a new crew, and as the audience, we can only sit back and watch. In a bittersweet kind of ending, Ruger says this, I certainly want people to love Animaniacs, and if this new show could increase the audience and love for Animaniacs, that would be great, because I love this show and I want it to succeed. You can keep watching the new episodes and you can keep liking them, but just imagine an alternate reality where the dream team was brought back. Imagine how much better the revival would be with Tom and his original writers that made the Animaniacs as incredible as we know them to be. What we have now is good, but things could have been better. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.